In a dramatic shift within the auto industry, several iconic gas-powered cars are being phased out as manufacturers pivot toward electrification. From the legendary Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio to the formidable BMW X3M, the end of an era is upon us. These vehicles have been the embodiment of power, performance, and legacy. But as the world shifts gears toward a greener future, these gas-powered icons are saying their final goodbyes. Whether you're a car enthusiast, a potential buyer, or just curious about the changing landscape. Stick around as we dive into the most notable models taking their final bow. Alfa Romeo Giulia and Stelvio Quadrifoglio. Alfa Romeo is bidding farewell to the Giulia Quadrifoglio and its sibling, the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, after 2024. Both models, known for their exhilarating 505 horsepower, have been symbols of Alfa's commitment to blending performance with Italian design. However, as the company pivots to electrification, these iconic vehicles will no longer be available with internal combustion engines. Larry Dominique, Alfa Romeo's head of North American operations, hinted that the Clover badge could return in the future, possibly on an electric or hybrid performance car. While fans of the brand may mourn the loss of these high-performance models, the promise of an electrified future might ease the transition. Audi A4, a 5 coupe, and a 5 cabriolet. Audi is streamlining its lineup, leading to the discontinuation of the A4 sedan and the A5 coupe and cabriolet. The A4 has been a staple of Audi's range since 1994, but it's time to say goodbye to its gas-powered form. The new Audi A5 sedan will take its place, with Audi likely reviving the A4 nameplate as an EV in the coming years. For fans of the two-door and convertible versions of the A5, this is the end of an era. The A5 Cabriolet in particular holds the distinction of being the last convertible in Audi's lineup, marking a significant shift for the brand as it moves towards a more electrified future. BMW X3M Although BMW hasn't officially confirmed the end of the X3M, it's becoming increasingly clear that this high-performance SUV won't be returning in its current form. The X3M has been a favorite among those seeking a blend of practicality and performance, but the future lies in electrification. BMW is expected to introduce an all-electric performance SUV, possibly named the iX3M, signaling a new direction for the brand. This move aligns with a report from 2022, which suggested that the next X3 performance variant would be electric only, further solidifying BMW's commitment to a greener future. Chevrolet Camaro and Malibu Chevrolet is also trimming its lineup, with the Camaro and Malibu both heading for the exit. The Camaro, an iconic muscle car, will see its nameplate retired after the 2025 model year. The final sixth generation model was produced in December 2023, and while a few 2024 models may still be available, this marks the end of an era for Chevy's beloved performance car. Similarly, the Malibu, a long-standing name in Chevrolet's lineup, will cease production in November 2024. The ninth generation Malibu has quietly been a mainstay, but it will make way for the new Bolt as Chevy shifts its focus to electric vehicles. Dodge Durango The Dodge Durango, a three-row SUV with a strong following, is also being discontinued after 2024. However, this might not be the end for the Durango nameplate. Rumors suggest that Dodge could revive the Durango as a body-on-frame SUV possibly based on the Jeep Wagoneer's platform. While nothing is confirmed, this potential revival could see the Durango return in a new, more rugged form. For now though, fans of the Durango will have to bid farewell to the current model as Dodge reshapes its lineup. Ford Escape. Ford's Escape, a popular compact SUV, is another model on the chopping block. Despite being the 25th best-selling vehicle in America last year, the Escape won't make it past 2024. The Escape nameplate, which has been around for 23 years, follows the Ford Edge in being discontinued. As Ford continues to focus on electrification and other market segments, the Escape's departure signals a shift in the company's strategy, leaving fans of the compact SUV with fewer options moving forward. Jaguar F-Type Jaguar's F-Type, a beloved sports car that has graced the roads for a decade, has also reached the end of its production run. As Jaguar transitions towards an all-electric future, the F-Type becomes a casualty of this shift. Over its 10-year lifespan, the F-Type has seen several iterations, each one celebrated for its design and performance. 
With the last F-Type rolling off the production line, Jaguar enthusiasts will have to turn to the used market or embrace the brand's forthcoming electric offerings. Genesis G70. The Genesis G70, a luxury sedan that earned praise for its performance and style, is also being discontinued with no successor in sight. As Genesis gears up to electrify its entire lineup by 2025, the G70 becomes another casualty of the industry's shift away from internal combustion engines. While the G70 has been a critical success, its discontinuation reflects the brand's commitment to an electrified future, leaving fans of the sedan to wonder what might come next. Jeep, Cherokee, and Renegade. Two Jeep models, the Cherokee and Renegade, are also being phased out. The Cherokee, a nameplate with a storied history, has already ended production earlier this year. The larger Grand Cherokee remains in the lineup, but the smaller Cherokee is no more. Joining it on the chopping block is the Jeep Renegade, an entry-level model that won't survive beyond 2024. With these models gone, the Jeep Compass will become the brand's least expensive offering, signaling a shift in Jeep's strategy as it looks to streamline its lineup. Mitsubishi Mirage Mitsubishi is saying goodbye to the Mirage, both in hatchback and sedan forms. The Mirage, one of the cheapest cars in America, with a starting price of around $18,000, has been a budget-friendly option for years. However, sluggish performance and an outdated platform have made it a tough sell in recent times. As Mitsubishi prepares to axe the Mirage at the end of 2024, buyers looking for an affordable new car will have one less option to consider. Mini Clubman. The Mini Clubman, a quirky station wagon beloved by many, is also on its way out. While you can still buy one in 2024, fewer than 100 units of the final edition will be available in the U.S. With a starting price just over $47,000, the final Clubman is a pricey collector's item for many enthusiasts. After that, the Clubman will be sunsetted, marking the end of a unique offering in Mini's lineup. The brand's future lies in its new and improved models, but the Clubman's departure will leave a void for those who appreciated its blend of style and practicality. Nissan GTR and Titan Nissan is also making some significant cuts, with the GTR and Titan both on their way out. The GTR, a legendary sports car with a long lineage, will officially end production in the US in October 2024. Nissan is sending off the GTR with two special trims, the Skyline Edition and the T-Spec Edition, which pay homage to the car's rich history. Meanwhile, the Nissan Titan, a full-size truck that struggled to find a foothold in the market won't make it to 2025. Despite trucks being big business, the Titan's poor sales have sealed its fate. Ram 1500 TRX The Ram 1500 TRX, a beast of a truck with 702 horsepower, is also being discontinued. The TRX has been a hit with enthusiasts, but it won't be available in the U.S. after this year. With a starting price of around $98,000, the TRX was a premium offering in Ram's lineup, but its limited availability and high price tag likely contributed to its demise. Ram is expected to replace the TRX with a new model, but for now, fans of the supercharged truck will have to act fast if they want to get their hands on one. Subaru Legacy Subaru is ending production of the Legacy, a mid-size sedan that has been a staple in the brand's lineup since 1989. The Legacy, designed specifically for the American market, has sold over 1.3 million units across six generations. However, as Subaru focuses on its hot-selling Outback, which shares the same platform as the Legacy, the sedan will be discontinued after the 2025 model year. The Legacy's departure marks the end of an era for Subaru, leaving the Outback to carry the torch for the brand's all-wheel drive offerings. Toyota Venza, Toyota's Venza Hybrid, a two-row crossover will also be discontinued after the 2024 model year. The Venza, which was revived in 2021, has always occupied an odd place in Toyota's lineup, being similar in size to the RAV4, but slightly more upscale. The Venza's departure will make way for the new Toyota Crown City, a hybrid crossover that will slot between the RAV4 and Highlander. The Venza's short-lived return to the market is coming to an end but Toyota's commitment to hybrids and electrification will continue with the introduction of the Crown City. This new model aims to better distinguish itself from the other hybrids in Toyota's lineup, offering a fresh option for buyers looking for a blend of luxury and efficiency. 
The Venza may have been short-lived in its revived form, but it has paved the way for Toyota's next generation of hybrid vehicles. Toyota Supra, four-cylinder. Another Toyota casualty is the four-cylinder Supra, which is being discontinued ahead of the 2025 model year. The six-cylinder Supra, which has garnered a loyal following, will stick around for a few more years, but the more affordable four-cylinder variant is no more. The decision to kill off the four-cylinder model likely stems from slow sales, as buyers have gravitated towards the more powerful six-cylinder version. While the Supra nameplate will live on for now, the discontinuation of the four-cylinder model marks a shift in Toyota's approach to its sports car lineup. Volvo S60 Volvo, a brand known for its commitment to safety and Scandinavian design, is also phasing out the gas-powered S60. This luxury sedan, which first debuted in the US in 2000, has been a mainstay in Volvo's lineup. The third generation of the S60 arrived in 2019, but it will reach the end of the line by the end of 2024. With the S60 gone, Volvo will focus its production efforts on the new EX90, an all-electric three-row SUV. The move away from the S60 is part of Volvo's broader strategy to transition to a fully electric lineup, reflecting the industry's larger shift towards sustainability. As we wave goodbye to these iconic models, it's clear that the automotive landscape is undergoing a significant transformation. The shift from gas-powered engines to electric and hybrid alternatives marks the end of an era, but it also opens the door to exciting new possibilities. For those who have a special place in their hearts for any of these vehicles, now is the time to act if you want to own a piece of automotive history before they're gone for good. For sticking with us until the end, here's a pro tip. If you're interested in purchasing one of these soon to be discontinued models, keep an eye out for end of year sales and dealership incentives. Manufacturers often offer significant discounts on outgoing models, so you could snag a great deal on one of these classics before they're gone. Plus, owning one of these final editions could make for a future collector's item, especially as the automotive world continues to evolve towards electrification. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more automotive news and reviews. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates and let us know in the comments which of these discontinued models you'll miss the most. See you next time.